We're joined now by Nicholas Christock. He's the founder and the executive director of Fleece and Thank You, and they have an event uh, coming up uh, uh, Saturday, October 16th, and running through the next week's Saturday, October 23rd. Uh, make a Blanket Day, which will kick off, uh, of course, as I said, the Saturday at Stony Creek High School, and he joins us now on the Megacast. Nick, thanks for being with us again. Hey, Tyler, thanks so much for having me. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday to you as well. So uh, let's talk about Make a Blanket Day uh, in Rochester. This is a, a hybrid event where uh, you're going to attempt to make about a thousand blankets for kids facing extended stays in the hospital. So how will this work as a hybrid uh, event? It does kick off at Stony Creek High School. So what opportunities are there in person and what opportunities are there virtually for people to participate? Awesome. At Fleece and Thank You, we uh, serve every single children's hospital and unit in the state with colorful, comfortable fleece blankets. And so this Make a Blanket Day event is a community-wide event, complimentary to attend. So there's no cost for someone to register and attend this event. It's going to be happening on Saturday, like you said, from 12 to 3 p.m. at Stony Creek High School. And we have two great options for someone to get involved. The first is they can come with us this Saturday and make blankets on site at Stony Creek. We'll be there from 12 to three, rain or shine. We've got tents, also the ability to move inside if we need to. And we'll be making blankets from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. If someone's not comfortable being in person or schedule doesn't permit, we have a drive-through option as well. They can just register online, drive through. They don't even need to get out of their car. They'll pull up to the circle there. We'll put blankets right in their trunk. They'll be able to make them over the next seven days. And then on the 23rd of October, we have a drop-off event where they can come and drop those blankets off. So multiple ways for someone to tie into the event. And even beyond that, should there be uh, people that are unable to attend and there are extra blanket kits still available, uh, there are other ways too that they can pick up these blanket kits, make these blankets, return them to your organization, and still participate even after the event is already gone in process. There are, yeah, two ways for sure. One is right on the event page. You can get kits shipped right to your home if you'd like to make blankets from home and can't make it out with us or you're too far to make it out with us. Well, also, if there's any blankets that don't get made in person this Saturday, those will be held at Chief Financial Credit Union in Rochester there, and you'll be able to stop in and pick up blankets from there while supplies last. I can tell you that normally, if there are any extra blankets, those supplies are gone usually that Monday because so many people want to come and make those, and they're gone pretty quick. So making it with us in person, uh, you can do the drive through or get them shipped right to your home or take advantage of that additional uh, pickup at Chief Financial during the week. And, and just for reference, that uh, pickup at Chief Financial Credit Union, uh, should there be extra kits available, will start on Monday, October 18th. Their hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., but they are closed from 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. So, uh, Chris, why this uh, event, this hybrid event at this time of the year uh, for making blanket kits? Is this something that uh, it's regularly done year by year by your organization, Fleece and Thank You, or is this uh, triggered by the current situation uh, that kids are experiencing in hospitals or both? Yeah, this is an annual event that we hold in Rochester every year, right around this time frame in the fall. Um, two years ago, we had about 1,500 people attend this event, and we actually set a Guinness World Record for most fleece blankets made in an eight hour period. It was a really wild event, made over 2000 blankets for kids in the hospital. So this time, obviously, given the current environment, wanna make it safe uh, and effective and just able for anyone to be able to tie in. Um, so we're going for a thousand blankets in person or drive through. And then, you know, definitely next fall of 2022, our hope is to be back in person and uh, setting another world record together. We're joined by Nicholas Christock. He is the founder and executive director of Fleece and Thank You. Uh, uh, joining us to talk a little bit about uh, Make a Blanket Day 2021, which begins this Saturday, October 16th at Stony Creek High School. There's also a virtual option as well. And the event runs through Saturday, October 23rd. And so uh, the goal for this event uh, for, is, uh, is uh, a thousand blankets blankets in seven days when these blankets are ultimately made when your organization collects these hopefully 1,000 or more uh, blankets where where do they then go from from there what process do they go through after they are made and, and after they are returned to your organization before they end up in the hands of these children yeah, after the blankets come back to us from the event they come to our warehouse here in Farmington Hills Michigan where they go through a really strict quality control process 
that culminates with them going through hospital grade washing and drying units. When they emerge from that process, they are 99.999% germ free. They get individually wrapped and sealed and then they get delivered to one of our 22 hospital partners where with every single children's hospital unit in the state of Michigan to make sure that they have enough comfort. That is a germ-free blanket that we deliver. So the next time that gets touched by a patient, whether they have immune compromised system or not, when they open up that blanket, it is guaranteed you know, to have no germs on it and be colorful and comfortable. We're joined by Nicholas Christock. He is the founder and the executive director of Fleece and Thank You. Learn more information about the organization and how you can participate in Make a Blanket Day 2021 or participate in producing blankets and volunteering with this organization throughout the rest of the year by visiting their website at fleeceandthankyou.org. So outside of this event, are there other events that are planned throughout the year for making these blankets or what other needs uh, are there to cover uh, everything that your organization does throughout the year outside of special events such as this? We work with about 400 groups a year to do individual group blanket making events. So whether that be a business, a church, a school, a reading club, you name it, a family party at Thanksgiving, we are always working with groups around the state to make blankets every single day throughout the year because the reality is in the state of Michigan, about 30,000 kids a year go into the hospital and have to stay overnight, at least one night for inpatient treatment. It's our annual mission to make 30,000 blankets. So whether you're tapping into one of our big community events, like Make a Blanket Day Rochester, we have another big community event coming up in Macomb County in December that's similar to this event. You can tap into one of those, or you can just make blankets with your group at any other time throughout the year. We keep it simple, and we solve a very simple problem uh, with color and comfort. That's 30,000 blankets a year. Always, always, always looking for more blanket makers, big and small. We're joined by Nicholas Christock, founder and executive director of F Fleece and Thank You, joining us on the Megacast again. Make a Blanket Day 2021. Uh, that event kicks off Saturday, October 16th uh, at Stony Creek High School in Rochester. Uh, there will also be hybrid options available as well. The event concludes the following Saturday, October 23rd. There are also opportunities um, should you be unable to attend and there are extra blanket kits available to pick up those kits from Chief Financial Credit Union in Rochester Hills beginning on Monday of next week, October 18th. Their hours there for pickup, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., excluding 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Of course, you can also order kits to ship directly to your home. Again, fleece and thank you. Dot org. And so, uh, Nick, take us through a little bit of the process. When someone does get one of the blanket kits, uh, how, what do they receive? How long does it typically take to put these together? Uh, how easy of a process is it from start to finish, from receiving the kit to returning to the kit for these volunteers to participate in the work of your organization? Yeah, we make making blankets really easy. So I've got a blanket kit right here. It's really just two pieces of fabric, a print and a solid, and then our special video message patch pressed onto that fabric. And so making a blanket is really just a couple easy steps of spreading it out on a nice flat table, using scissors to cut squares out of the corners, cutting strips around the outside, and then just tying those strips together in a double knot. There's a really unique part of Fleece and Thank You Blankets where every Fleece and Thank You Blanket you make, you can also make a personal video message. So Tyler can make a blanket and a video that will travel to Chloe in the hospital and Chloe can actually send Tyler a message back through the technology that we've built. So it really brings it full circle. Another important point to add is for this weekend's event, I don't know how often you buy groceries. I usually try to buy mine once a week, but everyone who attends the event this weekend, thanks to our sponsors at Kroger, will be entered to win free groceries for a year. And we're going to pick that raffle winner, but everyone who attends the event this weekend will be entered to win free groceries for a year. I don't know about you, but I would love to take uh, free groceries for a year. That would be amazing. Yeah, free groceries for a year is pretty satisfying, but making a child's day uh, is even more satisfying. It's the truth. And, it's and the truth. so uh, you, can, you can take care of both potentially at the same time by participating in this event. And again, more information on this at fleeceandthankyou.org. And again, Make a Blanket Day 2021 begins this Saturday, October 16th 
from 12 noon to 3 p.m. at Stony Creek High School. There are virtual options available that you can learn more about on their website. And then there are other opportunities if you're unable to attend the event, but do want to pick up some of these blanket kits. Should there be extra kits available, you'll be able to stop by 9 to 5 Monday through Friday, excluding 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. at Chief Financial Credit Union in Rochester Hills. Uh, and then uh, that will... Uh, you, you'll be able to also drop the blankets off there as well once they're completed up until Friday, October 29th. We're joined by Nicholas Christock, the founder and the executive director of Fleece, and thank you with us on the Megacast. And so, so Nick, let's go, let's go back. We've talked about this previously, about uh, some of the origins of why you started uh, Fleece, and thank you. But ultimately, what is the impact of the work that yourself, that your organization, and that your volunteers do? What, what impact does that end up having on these children and on their families? Yeah, the impact can be best described through uh, putting you in the situation. If I told you right now, Tyler, instead of talking about fleece blankets, we're actually going to go outside right now and we're going to run a marathon. I don't know about you, but I'm not in shape to run a marathon right now. And if we went outside and I took you to that starting line, you'd be feeling lots of things, nervous, anxious, scared, not sure if you could run the race, what was going to happen along the way, if you'd be able to finish. For tons of kids every single day throughout the year in Michigan, they enter a hospital room. It's the plain white sheets, the dark beige wallpaper. They're at the starting line of a marathon that they didn't choose to run, but they have to run it. And they're nervous, anxious, and scared. But now imagine if you're at that starting line and someone's standing there with a big sign and you squint and you look closer and it says, Tyler, you can do this. We believe in you, we're here for you. You're instantly less anxious to run that race. And when we put that colorful piece of comfort waiting on the bed for that patient, a lot of our families and patients say, it was the first chance we had that day to have a reason to have hope that everything was gonna be okay. When they watch that video message, they'll often say this was the first time all day that we've had to smile. Because for those families, everything about that day is uncertain and scary. They're at the starting line of a race where it's a diagnosis they didn't wanna hear, a room they don't wanna be in. And you're there right on that video message cheering them out of the starting line and giving them that piece of color and comfort. And it makes a world of a difference for a patient and family to start their race on that note. So then uh, Nick Christock with us, the founder and executive director of Fleece and Thank You. Uh, at the, who uh, does end up receiving these blankets? Which children that are hospitalized? Are there, certain, are there certain patients that do receive these and others that maybe don't? Does it depend on the amount of time that they're gonna be in the hospital or does that uh, not matter? Right now we work with pediatric inpatients. So that's any child under the age of 18 that's gonna be admitted and have to stay at least one night in the hospital. It's not their, not their pillows, not their sheets, not their blanket, not their room, and not their normal. That's who we target with our blankets. We're joined by Nicholas Christock, founder and executive director of Fleece and Thank You, joining us on the Megacast. Uh, and of course, again, Make a Blanket Day Rochester 2021 begins October 16th as this week's Saturday from noon to 3 p.m. Uh, in person at Stony Creek High School. There are virtual uh, and hybrid options available as well. And uh, you'll be able to, to pick up blankets. Uh, you'll be able to uh, pick up blanket kits should they be available at uh, at uh, Chief Financial Credit Union in Rochester Hills. That is uh, open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. And it is closed 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. It is also a drop-off location. They'll be taking those drop-offs should you be able to pick up those kits, um, make the blankets, and return them up until Friday, October 29th uh, at that same location. Again, Chief Financial Credit Union in Rochester Hills. Learn more information about Make a Blanket Day 2021 by visiting Fleece and Thank You's website at fleeceandthankyou.org. And so... Uh, uh, beyond volunteers, Nick, uh, obviously that's, that's, in, that's entirely necessary to make the volume of blankets that your organization makes every year, especially to uh, attempt a feat such as making a thousand blankets in a seven day period. Beyond that, what else uh, is needed for your organization to be able to do its work from the community uh, should they be able to contribute uh, to your organization and help out in another way beyond making blankets? Yeah, we keep it pretty simple, Tyler. I mean, someone can give their time, they can give their dollars, or they can give both. They can make a blanket from home, make it with their group, just tell other groups about it. They can physically come into our warehouse and give their time here uh, on site. 
Uh, they can provide a donation for some of our workforce development programs where we have young adults and adults with disabilities that come into our warehouse and do all the back end operations of making blanket kits. So many ways to tie in and we make it very, very easy from sponsoring a blanket for a kiddo to making one yourself. There's really a lot of ways for someone to get tied in and we make it easy to provide comfort for kids in the hospital. And that's what it's all about, like you said. We're joined by Nicholas Christoch. He is the founder and executive director of Fleece and Thank You. Joining us today on the Megacast and uh, Nicholas, just a few more minutes with us uh, today. Uh, uh, at this moment in time, is there anything else that is uh, important for our audience to know about Fleece and Thank You, about Make a Blanket Day 2021, uh, or anything else that would be interesting for us to be keeping on the lookout for with your organization in the near future? Yeah, we're at the details of uh, this weekend, uh, Saturday, October 16th. It's going to be at Stony Creek High School from 12 to 3 p.m. Come on out, make blankets with us on site, choose the virtual option, make them from home. Many ways to tie in there. We're doing a similar event to this in Macomb County on December 4th. Uh, that one is sponsored by First State Bank. So some more details to come out. You can find all of this, though, right on our website, fleeceandthankyou.org. Really, if you do anything, check out fleeceandthankyou.org and go to our impact page and just watch a couple of videos from kids in the hospital. Those response videos really tell the whole story. When you watch Joshua, who received his blanket from Cameron, thanking Cameron, and it's a seven-year-old thanking another seven-year-old, the heart of empathy just doesn't get any stronger than that. We're joined by Nicholas Christoch, the founder and executive director of Fleece and Thank You. Again, at their website, fleeceandthankyou.org, you can find more information about volunteering with the organization, uh, order some of their blanket kits so that you can provide that warmth, that comfort, uh, and that uh, little bit of joy to children all across our local area, where you can also donate to the organization and then find out more about their events and even schedule some corporate volunteering uh, or corporate partnerships as well if you and your business would like to partner partner with Fleece and thank you. Nick, thank you for your time again and, and for telling us more about this upcoming event. Thanks so much, Tyler. Have a great day.